everybody and welcome to Real Madrid Hub. I am your host Eric Rivera and this is of course your spot for all things Real Madrid news. And well, it is official. Real Madrid announced today that Federico Valverde, midfielder from Uruguay, El Pajarito, has renewed his contract and extended it until 2027. Currently, the player uh, was on contract until 2025. He extended it for two more years. And uh, from everything we see, he is continuing to grow within the team and is somebody that Ancelotti trusts very much. You know, one of the things that uh, we have seen is that in the absence of Kroos and Modric, well, Kroos, the first game of the season, he, you know, Ancelotti believed in him to replace Tony Kroos and brought him on alongside Casemiro and Modric. So Ancelotti is definitely believing in him and you know, Valverde has shown uh, some great talent in those two games, making a run in that game against Deportivo Alaves that led to uh, Karim Benzema's second goal of the game. So essentially, you know, he is he is everything we want at Real Madrid. He is a hard worker. He is willing to fight for his place. Uh, he is also very willing to continue to learn, as he has mentioned many times in interviews, and enjoys being at Real Madrid and only wants the best for the club. There's also been, you know, of course, if I don't know if you've gone online, but there is the there is a lot of videos and thing and and memes and pictures that show Federico Valverde the way he celebrates the goals that his teammates score, um, you know, just with as much passion as if he had scored them himself. So he is a Madridista through and through, and, uh, you know, he's a player that is absolutely incredible. Valverde was, uh, you know, a player that was brought to Real Madrid from Peñarol, and uh, he has, his value has exploded in the market. Uh, according to Transfer Market, his his value is now, now lies at 65 million euros. He is the third most valuable player of his generation, um, that is behind Mbappé and Trent Alexander-Arnold from Liverpool. This is great news for Madridismo because it means that one of our best players is going to be with us for six year, six more years, essentially, until he's 29 years old. Um, you know, it is great to have Federico Valverde on the team. He is, uh, without a doubt, a favorite amongst Madridistas and continues to grow within the team, so we are happy to have him. For a bit longer. In other news, well, more Mbappé news popped up. I mean, just when you thought everybody was going to, you know, everybody was sort of packing up their bags, turning their backs, and saying goodbye to the, Real, you know, Mbappé coming to Real Madrid deal. Yesterday, a bomb dropped for essentially from RMC, uh, RMC, which is a uh, a publication from France, basically saying that uh, it seems like uh, PSG is uh, willing to do business for uh, Mbappé's sale. The reason they are saying that is because of the fact that it looks like he has once again told them that he is not going to renew with the club, that he is not going to, you know, he does not want to renew any contracts and that essentially he wants to stay at the club. He wants to go to Real Madrid. That is the team that he is dreaming of going to. Um you know, uh, they have, there has not been, so So the whole idea was essentially uh, Real Madrid has tried to play this game with maximum caution. It doesn't seem like they want to, it's, I don't know if it's that there's a pretty good relationship between PSG and Real Madrid, but it, it seems like Real Madrid doesn't want to force their hand too much. They just kind of want to see how things play out obviously looking to see how things play out from from Mbappé's end what is he what is he saying what is he going to do uh, and then see if they can make an approach and uh, essentially that is what's happening right now uh, you know it, it, it looks like you know it looks like Mbappé obviously is taking that step and making you know making it known now that he doesn't want to renew with PSG even though he's already you know uh He's already said no on various occasions, but he's continuously looking to make it more clear. And it seems, you know, if he the reported conversation he had with Al Khalifi was that, you know, I I just I, I am not going to renew. I don't want to fight the club. I don't want to have problems with the club. I will stay the rest of my contract if need be. But I definitely will leave in the summer 
once my contract is up. <clears throat> so the argument has always been, well, if that is true, then, uh, you know, if he does want to leave, well, does it benefit a team like PSG to wait out his contract and essentially send him to a rival for free or at least get some money for the player? Um, you know, the fact that the, the the team is owned by the Emir from Qatar, which is uh, Al Taini, uh, makes kind of it seem like money might not be an issue, but at the same time, uh, I, you know, in other reports from El Chiringuito and things like that, you know, Jose Felix Diaz is the one that writes this report for Diario Marca. But I remember seeing on El Chiringuito, the argument was essentially, you know, people that have money, guys such as Altaini, the guys that usually become very, very wealthy, uh, actually tend to be more frugal with their money and tend to make better business decisions. And for Altaini, it is probably a good decision to sell Kylian Mbappé for, you know, a hefty price tag if he can get it uh, from Real Madrid uh, and not let him go, you know, not let his biggest, one of his biggest assets go to a rival club for free. Uh, even if he would not want to let Kylian Mbappé go, the fact that Kylian Mbappé is the one that has made steps um, to kind of show everyone that he does not want to stay is what is causing this, you know, sale to essentially be made. And, you know, Kylian Mbappé has supposedly told them, you know, please just at least um, open the door to do business with Real Madrid. Essentially, you know, let just have conversations and see if there can there can be a, a, a an agreement reached. Um, as I just said a, a few minutes a few seconds ago, you know, Jose Felix Diaz wrote this article and he was saying once again that Real Madrid is being cautious in every single moment. They have play. You have been very holding everything really close to this chest, as they say, having a lot of taking a lot of care. In making sure that all the details about any sort of gestures, any sort of phone calls, any sort of, you know, they don't want misunderstandings and confusions. They have definitely not allowed that anybody step in and try to, uh, I guess, throw a wrench into the situation and cause a conflict. Um, and they don't want to provoke any sort of situation of tension between the agents that are known of, the, of both Real Madrid and PSG. So, you know, that is, there is no other option. For Real Madrid, we know that there is no other option. Their focus is 100% on Mbappé. And it seems at this point that Mbappé uh, is willing to come. So now it's just essentially, will the negotiation happen? You know, will the negotiation go through? What is going to happen with the, you know, is... So, uh, the idea is that they're making, they're ma that that RMC brought out, the RMC published, which RMC, once again, is a a um, French newspaper or a French news outlet, basically said on Monday or yesterday that the player had rejected a new proposal from PSG in the last few days for five more seasons. And essentially that he had said, you know, I still, I, I want to sign with Real Madrid. So according to, to this article, according to, you know, RMC, uh, the Parisian club is already making their, you know, having the idea or making way for the thought that they will sell this guy. So it's the first time that it has been mentioned. The first time that this has this opportunity for a sale or the a potential for a sale has been reported by a French outlet. We've heard all sorts of things from the Spanish outlets, but it's the first time it's been mentioned by a Spanish outlet. What's really in incredible to me and, and, you know, is that Mbappé has just been completely, uh, I, I would say, you know, of course, for many Madridistas, he's just shown uh, to his resolve and his desire to play for Real Madrid has been uh, really incredible for, for many of us because of the fact that, you know, the offer from PSG reportedly included a very, very substantial raise for Kylian Mbappé as a player. Um, and he still said no. Uh, they are already looking for options, it's reported now, that since Kylian is leaving, uh, 
with the idea, and this is coming from RMC, with the idea that possibly Real Ma I mean, sorry, PSG would looking at would be looking at Richarlison from Everton um, because uh, Neymar on Neymar's recommendation. So that would be another person. And then we also heard, of course, the news that he could potentially come from um, come, you know, that uh, Cristiano Ronaldo was somebody else that was potentially on the list to replace Mbappe if he does leave. So things are heating up. And uh, it could be that it's going to happen. It could be just more noise that gets us all excited. But uh, that is that is essentially what was said by RMC. And Mbappé, you know, not to stay quiet on Mbappé, he recently had, uh, in an article uh, reported by Mundo Deportivo, he usually had he recently had an interview with the Spanish edition of the magazine Esquire, where he. Uh, very strong in his words, I would say. This kid is confident. Uh, some might say he's even cocky. Speaking about the league, on he basically said that it is not the best championship in the world, but that he feels a responsibility to help it grow. Um, he, he was never asked about Real Madrid in uh, in this article, but uh, one thing he did say, he said his about his relationship with many of the players of PSG. He said that a team is not a group of friends. You don't have to have dinner with your uh, with your teammates every night in order to win. About Neymar, for example, he said that I promise you that I do not want to basically take away your spot after he won the World Cup and became a candidate for the Ballon d'Or. He told Neymar that he did not want to essentially uh, take his spot or try to overshadow the Brazilian uh, superstar. Uh, speaking about the goal, about the game he had at Camp Nou last season, where of course he he, he scored, um, of course he scored a hat trick of goals and essentially was the standout player. Uh, he said it was the best, the best game of his career. That he helped in both attack and in defense. That he created and finalized his plays, uh, and in that on one on one, he got ninety percent. He won ninety percent of the duels. So uh, he said. Uh, you know, like I said, uh, a little bit of cockiness there in his uh, in his speech uh, that some people might see as cockiness, but it could be confidence. And what else should you have as a as a as a player other than you know being confident as well? He said that many players, few players, change positions like I do. I have played all the positions as a forward, and uh, I don't think that many people in the world could be able to change position every year and still maintain good form and a high level of form uh, like I do. Yes, I believe that I am a star. When your face is on all all over the city and all over the world, that is for sure. Uh, when people compared him to Messi and Ronaldo, he said, to tell you uh, that I would be better, that I, I would be better than them is to lack conscience, essentially. He said they are incomparable. They have broken all the laws of statistics. Messi was good for Ronaldo, and Ronaldo was good for Messi. So essentially, I think in that in that in that case, it's more like Mbappe wants to be known as Mbappe. You know, he wants to feel strong. He wants people to recognize him as Mbappe, not the second coming of Messi, not the second coming of Cristiano Ronaldo. He doesn't want to live in anybody's shadow. He wants to be his own star. And that's why I feel like he wants to come to Real Madrid. And everyone has been saying that he wants to come to Real Madrid. Is that at PSG, he is no longer, you know, a, he is a star, of course. But he is no longer the star. It is a team full of stars. And he wants to be the head of a project. And what better project than being head or sort of the star of the club that we all have seen seems to be the club of his dreams which is Real Madrid and where the project at this point seems to center 100% around him um, and moving on uh, speaking about Vinicius who is of course our left wing uh, you know phenom at the moment Vinicius Jr it was reported that the reason he has been and this was coming from uh, this is coming from Alejandro Moreno of Defensa Central but it was something that uh, was mentioned by uh, Jose Luis Sanchez on El Chiringuito was that the reason that Vinicius has looked so good as of late is not without uh, a reason. 
the reports have said, uh, you know, Jose Luis Sanchez reported that Vinicius has begun to work with a mental coach because he wanted to be able to control pressure and control his emotions. And a lot of this was because he wanted to be, uh, you know, better at decision making and not feel mentally blocked when he was in a situation where he was in on goal and had to make a split second decision. Um, and like I, I had mentioned on my podcast where it seems like, you know, he was thinking about way too many things right before he was going to score. Whereas, you know, it's easy that when you're on that type, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't know anything about that type of pressure, but I'm thinking, you know, when you're on a one-on-one -on -one situation with a goalkeeper and you're running at them and it's a huge game and you know, you have to score. There are a lot of things that can cross your mind on making that run. And a lot of times he's got plenty of time when he's making a run to charge at the goalkeeper and make a final decision. And he's got defenders trying to go after him. He's got the goalkeeper trying to go out and limit his space. And so, of course, uh, a young kid, uh, you know, at 21 years old, is uh, can, can let that type of pressure and too many thoughts cloud his mind. And essentially, that's what he felt he was having um, in front of goal. And it seems like he is now getting help from a professional, from a, a psychologist and a mental coach to help him maintain a fresh mind. And if he continues to do this, as we have seen already in the first two games of the season, he's already got three goals. He looks a lot more determined. He looks a lot more solid. He, uh, he definitely looks uh, on fire at this point. And it seems that whatever he is doing, it is working. And one of the things too, is that he made it clear uh, in a post in the post game um, after the Levante game that Ancelotti had also already mentioned to him and that his that he was going to play an important role this season and but he as has told Vinicius to get to the area quicker and try to decide in less touches one or two at the max so I'm pretty sure he's trying to tell him you know dribble through but you know don't make don't make excessive amounts of movements you know don't make excessive amounts of dribbles you know try to make a decision in quick one two one two touches and go for it you know so it, it seems like that has helped him be a lot more decisive in front of goal and it is reaping its rewards at right now there have been calls to even say you know even to start vinicius because of the fact that he scored on the two uh, on three occasions now, but he scored in the first two games. But uh, at this point, even even Ancelotti has not been clear of whether or not that's going to be a reality of whether he's going to start Vinicius. But at this point, uh, Vinicius uh, seems to be in a good state of mind where he's enjoying his football and he doesn't want to let outside things bother him. Whether he starts or doesn't start is not an issue. He just wants to continue to help the team. That's the news I have right now for Real Madrid, guys. That is the news that is happening currently, but is going to be a lot more news, obviously, coming as we move further and further into the season and get closer and closer to the end of the transfer window. And we will see what essentially is going to happen with Mbappé uh, and with any transfers, uh, if they might surprise us. But at this point, who knows what's going to happen? Just stay tuned here. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. Stay up to date with all the Real Madrid news here at Real Madrid Hub.